What's up, everyone? It's Roger Goggles for three here. Thanks for tuning in tonight. Uh, we have our second rematch of the season this evening. Uh, we are going to be taking on the Indiana Pacers. The first time we played them, uh, Dale Davis lit us up, and we almost lost, but we didn't. So they're going to be looking for a win, and so are we. Without further ado, let's get to it. December 14th, 1995. Getting closer to Christmas. So a brief check of the standings here. Uh, you can see Indiana is not far behind Chicago for second place in the division. Uh, these bulls faring a bit worse than the real life ones. I'm going to do a quick check of our rosters to make sure we have the correct starters in place. Uh, Trevor Ruffin, Dale Ellis, Lionel Simmons, Carlos Rogers, AC Earl. Uh, for those who watched last Wednesday, we're going to be doing a bit of an experiment uh, tonight. We're going to be uh, trying the exact same rosters we used in the Celtics game on Wednesday, uh, in part because tomorrow we are playing the Celtics again. Uh, so this will give us the best lineup data we have available, um, in theory, because not much has changed. Unfortunately, one of the things that changed, hey, it's great. One of the things that's changed is I have developed a bit of a bug of some sort. It's not, uh, not quite Jordan's flu game, but I'm going to be drinking some tea tonight and hopefully my voice holds up. Ten percent of anything that I bring in tonight goes to the Retina Foundation of the Southwest. They do a lot of great work uh, looking into macular degeneration, among other things. Um, if you'd like to support them directly, there is a direct uh, link in my Twitch profile or in the YouTube description. To get a prop IV and lay on the floor after the game, yeah. I'll save that for when I'm really sick. I used to be able to, I was really good at not getting sick uh, when I was younger. I uh, managed to avoid it all the time and now I've got a one-year-old who sneezes directly in my face, so no amount of hand-washing is going to uh, fix that, unfortunately. The kids will do that. But I got my tea. Mark Jackson had a pretty quiet game uh, by point guard standards against us first time around. Reggie Miller did as well, but we preemptively double teamed him, which opened the door for Dale Davis to uh, dominate us. I learned recently, I didn't know this, I guess uh, Dale Davis was the Lakers' plan B the offseason following the season in case they couldn't land Shaq. Did I get your message on Patreon? Um, was it, if it was today, then no. Um, I've been all over the place today, my apologies. There we go. A couple three days ago. Um, I don't think I've gotten one since I replied to you when we were talking about uh, YouTube versus Twitch and the, the relative uh, merits either way. I did see your plea not to uh, trade Pinkney. Um, that is our patron poll at the moment. Um, we are looking at what moves we're looking ahead to the trade deadline i know it's still a couple months away but we want to make sure that we're in the position to make the best moves possible and by best moves possible i mean the moves all of you wish to see so we're having a uh, patron discussion over on my patreon to figure out what is on the table Ooh, it starts dale davis Okay, thank you. No, I missed that. That's surprising. I thought I looked at that over the weekend. But they didn't. Three points, Dale Ellis. Of course, coming off a record-breaking 106-point uh, performance, 106-point explosion against the Celtics. 41 points in the first quarter alone. Whoa. I don't know where I went. There. I'm not quite sure why that happened that way. Oh, bad decision. Three, 
Oof, Reggie Miller. Somehow I don't think we're winning by 70 tonight. Oh, man. I think the 87 points from the night before was more impressive than the 106. Yeah, I mean, a lot of those came in the uh, second half. All right, we'll let this lineup hang out a little bit longer. Clearly, they're doing much worse than they did against the Celtics. There we go. There we go, Simmons. Put it in. Hook shot. No. Yeah, I'm thinking this lineup will not be a, a winner for us tonight. It's all right. We still have a few more. There we go, Ruffin. I actually told him to shoot at one point in there. I don't know why he didn't. Ugh, Rogers. Ugh. Hey, all right. Oh, Miller. Spoke too soon, I'm afraid. All right. That is enough of that. We're going to try someone else. Eric Murdoch. Ellis will stay. Jimmy King. Didn't Miller do those crazy steals to the Knicks? Yes. That he did. Yeah, yeah Reggie Miller, uh, my favorite uh, Reggie Miller moment was when he scored uh, nine points in seven seconds, I think it was. Just kept stealing the inbound pass and knocking back threes. Really cool. He was fun to watch. The whole Pacers Knicks rivalry was a lot of fun too. <laughs> Telegraph that a fair bit, but you know what? A basket's a basket. That's more than any of the AI players uh, managed the other lineup. So. Pinkney, no. Nope. I don't think Ellis is scoring 87 tonight. Or 106. Let's see. There we go. King. Okay. In traffic. He is not going to hit the in traffic ones tonight. I think that's what I'm learning. At least not with this lineup. Yeah, there we go. Murdoch. Eric Murdoch actually led the league in steal percentage. Um, the season that... Uh, this is depicting for the Grizzlies. And I wanted him for our team instead. Oh, man. I'm not even sure how that happened. Reggie Miller just materialized in place. There we go. Murdoch again. Man of Steel, man. Just like that, we have ourselves a basketball game. Oof. 80% from the field, Indiana Pacers. Whoa! Ella shooting from Hamilton. Maybe that's where he left his shot. There we go. Three. 
three. He can't miss. He cannot miss. I suppose he could. I'd prefer if he didn't. How it goes. Why are they leaving me open? Why are they doing it? Just like that is a tie game for the first time since it was 0 0. Actually, I guess that's not correct. I guess I was up 3 to 2 at one point. Don't complain. Good point. There we go. High percentage this time. Nope. <laughs> I think I might need three of them. So much for a uh, high percentage. <laughs> Thank you. Wow, that's that is quite a few. <laughs> yeah, I was actually gonna sit him down, but I was laughing too hard to pause the game in time on the dead ball. Oh, good save. They're finally onto my strategy. To push them out of bounds one. <laughs> Air ball to lay up. Yep. Dale Ellis. 106 points last night. Air balls to lay up tonight. And just like that, we are in the lead. Our biggest lead of the game. Two points. The yeah, Ellis did hit a lot of threes, but Eric Murdoch's definitely been uh, putting on the better show tonight. <laughs> the exact opposite of Pinkney's full court shot. You know, you're right. It is at that. Oh! Man. John Williams. Making me regret it. You know, Murdoch, you take it. You take it down the court. There we go. Ellis trying to save some face. It's not going to work, though. That one's going to be on uh, Sports Center tomorrow. There we go. Take that in. Oh. Okay, fine. Take the three of this. Nope. There we go. Murdoch again. He's not going to drive. I will. for you, Spitz. But we're ahead. It's the important thing. So we're shooting 80% when this lineup came in. Down to 64 now. We're up to 45, which is still not very good. Especially not for the way we've been playing. Uh, Dale Ellis still needs to take a break. So... We'll use one of our Tracy Murray lineups. Ottemeyer. I hate to sit Murdoch, but I don't have a Murdoch Murray lineup uh, prepared for tonight. I will make one if, if necessary on the fly. Uh, Jim King stays in. AC Earl comes back in. Ottemeyer, Murray, King, Rogers, and Earl. And we're going to wear Carlos Rogers out this season. Funny, the two highest uh, re re rated three-point shooters in the game 
both on the court right now, Reggie Miller uh, for the Pacers and Tracy Murray for us, both wear number 31. Coincidence? Probably. The animation struggle is real, even in 1995. There we go, fresh legs. That's the way you get it done. Oh, Smiths. Flying Dutchman. Nice! That was ugly. Oh, I missed it! Isometric perspective fail. Mark Jackson trying to drive. Got uh, stuck on Carlos Rogers there. Man, I cannot line up the rebounds tonight. Makes me nervous when Reggie Miller's guarding the inbounds pass. Oh, what? Come on, ref. Where were you? It's a mugging. It's not how you play basketball. There we go. Nice feed. Spitz the Great, you must have stepped away for a second. The world became a better place when games implemented behind the back camera for sports games. Indeed. Indeed. Did you see that, Shove? Man, I thought for sure you'd be all Spike Lee down there. Getting into the refs about it. Oh. It's going to be one of those games, huh? Where Pacers make a three-point shot and I brick one. Pacers came to play. They did. I uh, really... The first time we played them was game two. And I really did not think we were going to win that game. Um, we ended up winning by seven, I think. Like, single digits. Um, we're actually playing much better tonight. Um, than we did that night. I was still kind of learning how things worked at that point. Uh, but yeah, they were they were a great team in this era. Reggie Miller ended up with a finals appearance uh, later in his career. So not exactly this squad, but some of the same people. The East was loaded back then. And then on Wednesday, we got the Magic for the first time. I'm worried about that game. If Shaq had stayed, I am guessing Orlando would have been a dynasty. Their their lineup is just incredible. Ugh. And my shooting is not incredible. Does that say we only have one defensive rebound? I suppose when they're making as many shots as they are. Uh, Shaq is still on the magic. Uh, Penny Hardaway is still healthy. Uh, fellow Goggles enthusiast Horace Grant. Uh, Dennis Scott, who's the closest thing to um, someone who played like Curry, Steph Curry, uh, in the league at this time. I mean, you know, you talk about Reggie Miller, who had more for his career, but uh, Dennis Scott set an NBA record this season at the time for most three-point shots in a game that stood until relatively recently. Yeah, this lineup was doing well, and then they just imploded. We're still hitting them on defense, though. We just can't put it in the basket. Come on! Bounce in there. Thank you. Felt bad for me. There we go. We just need to capitalize on these. Dunk it, Rogers. Oh! Dale Davis! Come on! Defense is nasty. Man.
Oh, you're talking about my defense. Yeah. <laughs> they better have called that one. Right, we'll put a uh, Murdoch back in. <laughs> they go quickly. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Always have my back. Right, let's go back. Uh, Simmons. Work around not being able to sub Rogers. And Oliver Miller. First appearance this game, I do believe. Right, Murdoch, Ellis, Simmons, Rogers, Miller. Yep. Here at your computer looking around for the refs. Well, if you see them, let me know. I've been looking for them all season. I hear the whistles. I don't see them. Hey, there we go. Nice to them. Oof. Less nicely done. Man. Haywood Workman's just uh, all over us. Three. There we go. Tying it up. How much time was left? Three minutes? I missed that. Oh, get that out of my house. Get that out of this country. And we take the lead. That basket's for you, Spitz the Great. Patron at our buy a bucket tier. If you'd like to buy me a bucket as well, you can check out my Patreon. Three! That one could have been from you, dear viewer. Again with the block. I didn't realize I was on fire. I wouldn't have wasted it on a layup. Oh. This is nasty. Yeah, makes lineup makes all the difference. Oh, I'm not even sure how physics worked on that one. <laughs> So he hits three threes in a row to get on fire. Gets on fire, bricks. I know I keep saying this. I got to figure out if any of these devs are on Twitter. I do have one defensive rebound. That is, that is a true statement. And I can no longer blame it on their ridiculous shooting percentage. Carlos Rogers. He's exhausted. Doesn't matter. Yeah, the hot and cold seems more exaggerated than uh, games past. Let's take this one all the way in. And brick it. Hey, all right. I'm okay with that. Oh. New lineup, you think? Even though I surged up and went on like a 10-0 run when they first came in? All those blocks? Get that! <laughs> there we go. These guys can at least finish the half. Surges are crazy tonight. Go ahead, Murdoch. Take that all the way. Nice. Eric Murdoch, everybody. You made the right call. I have to admit, I was skeptical, patrons. I thought for sure we should trade for Sam Perkins, but this Eric Murdoch move has been working out nicely for us. <laughs> Probably a bad time to get a drink. In traffic. Nope. Oh. Hoping I could shake him. Well, we're up by more than we were at the end of the first. Low scoring game for us so far. Dale Ellis only has 34 points in the first half. 
Can you believe it? Only one block, but what a block. Our field goal percent is still lousy. Fortunately, we're dragging them down to our level. <laughs> Five rebounds. Five rebounds. Yeah, three point percentage is rough. 14 blocks, though. We have almost three times as many blocks as we do rebounds. And we do have three times as many steals as we do rebounds. When did the Washington Bullets win their lone championship? Should know this. I don't, but I should. Uh, 75? I'm going to say 75. There it goes. I do know that the Retina Foundation of the Southwest is doing great work in vision research, imagining a world without goggles, trying to help... Uh, Cure diseases that cause blindness and other visual impairments in the elderly and children. 10% of anything I make tonight uh, will go to them. Or if you'd like to support them directly, there's links uh, below whatever it is you're watching. And also a big, big, big thank you to our patrons. Tim Troy, humanitarian and philanthropist. Fitz the Great, Dr. Ambassador Dortmunder. You all make this possible. Thank you. Thanks to all of our viewers, too. Oh, this guy said all right. At least defensively. If we can hold him back defensively, just keep this a low-scoring game, I'm okay with that. There we go. Like that. Oof. Like that, except for the part where we almost threw it away. There we go. L-Train. Getting the bounce. There we go. Let's keep that pressure up. Like, you know, the exact opposite of what just happened there. They got, do they have Rick Smith guarding me? That's weird. What just happened to Carlos Rogers down there? There we go. You gold on that shot, Dale Davis. Rick Smith, their uh, seven foot four center during this era. Hey, we got a rebound. Woo! Buckets seem to be going okay. Maybe I need to buy a rebound here. Patreon. Getting physical. Hey, I got another rebound. Carlos Rogers with the layup. Two rebounds. Cherry Picker. Hey, man. Two points is two points is two points. I will pick as many cherries as necessary. I actually don't know what is happening with Carlos Rogers. I wonder if he's just so tired he's forgotten the basic uh, rules of basketball. Earlier he just jumped for no reason. But just put it back in! You shouldn't need to tell me that! Or need me to tell you that. Uh, uh. But good thing I don't speak to people on the internet. <laughs> or play basketball. <laughs> give, the, give those two points back. We did not earn those two points. <laughs> There's going to be an asterisk next to that score. They're going to review that play and just take them away. That shooting was almost as bad as that sentence I was trying to get out. There we go. I'm pretty sure we got more offensive rebounds on that play than we had rebounds in the first half. A comedy of errors on that possession. 
Indeed, Spitz the greatest. Whoa! Man. It would work, man. Nope. Not even close. Because we've gotten seven rebounds in three and a half minutes. Five in the whole first half. That wasn't where I was intending it to go. Ooh! I will take it. That was as pretty as Simmons' last attempt was ugly. I'm not sure how I missed that rebound, but originally Murdoch found it. There you go. Backing him down for the three. Dale Ellis making it look easy. <laughs> Whoops. It's like something I used to do when I played. Yes, indeed, folks, this is the uh, closest to the NBA I ever got. Don't let the goggles fool you. There we go. Murdoch. Nope. Well, they did technically inbound it. They just have fallen apart. They've fallen apart so much, I'm going to do something drastic. You know what time it is? Massenburg time. Miller. Jimmy King. Tracy Murray. And Trevor Ruffin. Oh, yes. Spitz the greatest. It is time for Tony Massenburg to do whatever Tony Massenburg does. This lineup did very well against the Celtics. Of course, what lineup didn't? We won by 70, so... Oh, Travis Best is number three also, so maybe they w those weren't all he would work. All right, Tony. Nope. Who was that to? That was weird. Don't worry, I'm not going to leave this lineup in and let my whole uh, leader run. Get that, Massenburg. There we go. Ruffin. I don't know why I keep ending up out of bounds tonight. Maybe it's something to do with getting under the weather. I don't think we should be letting Oliver Miller dribble that quick so much. Nope. Drew Brees in the football game just had a record taken away. Who's Drew Brees? Do you mean Drew Bledsoe? So what do you mean taken away? Like he set a record and then they, they walked it back? Like flag on the play or something? There you go, Massenburg. Massenburg with a massive rebound. Ruffin. 
Broken breaking touchdown pass and a penalty took it away. Uh, is this like a career record thing? Like he's going to have another shot at it? Oh. These Pacers just do not want Tony Massenberg to score. Oh, okay. Not even half time. Third quarter draws to a close in the game that matters, though. Oh, there we go. Oh, Miller. Woo! It's all set to give that to Tim Troy, who prefers his buckets to come from Tony Massenburg. That can be for Dr. Ambassador Dortmunder, patron at our buy a bucket level. There we go, Tony. Take that in, Tony. Take a three, Tony. Where's Pinkney tonight? Um, he was in earlier. He was in the second lineup we played. That's off the We've actually passed them in field goal percentage, not three point percentage. So, all right, I'm. Yeah, you gotta have the the jersey numbers. Pinkney's number fifty four. Uh, Washington Bullets, their lone championship, my guess is 75. 78. Ugh. So when did the Sonics win? 77? Because I was thinking 78 was the Sonics. I was close. I was off by three, which fits, you know. Nostalgia goggles off by three. Two got cold, had to just finish it. We'll give Massenberg a little bit more time to score. But if he doesn't, we'll throw a Pinkney lineup back in. There we go, Tony. You got this. Go. Nope, you know what? That was your window. Your window is closed. Next dead ball. Who was that? Rick Smits? What are you doing, Rick, Rick Smits? All right, Tony. They're not even covering him. Do you see that? Massenberg's man just stepped off of him, left him wide open in the paint as soon as I got there. All right. That is enough of that. Which lineup does have Pinkney? Let's see. I guess I only had one lineup with uh, Pinkney in it. But we will we will try it again. Also has Eric Murdoch, who's been doing really well. Six points, 60% from the field. Two rebounds, three blocks, five steals. That was pretty good. Another quiet game for Murray. I don't know what happened to early season Tracy Murray. He's just fading down the stretch. We're not even really to the stretch. He's still fading. Uh, Jimmy King stays. Murdoch, Ellis, King, Pinkney. Rodgers. <clears throat> the problem is Carlos Rodgers has been so dominant that he's in almost every lineup that does well. And when he's playing power forward, that means Pinkney can't. Pinkney listed as a small forward, but that didn't go so well for us early season when we tried to play him. Yes. Ugly. There we go. Pinkney! Woo! As always, my Patriots make the best calls. That bucket purchased for us by Tim Troy, humanitarian, philanthropist, Tony Massenberg supporter, Nostalgia Goggles for three supporter. 
not necessarily in that hurry. Oof. Get that back. Oh. Get that back, Rogers. No, that's behind the backboard, Carlos. I don't know, man. Your guess is as good as mine. That possession did not go so well for us. That's money. Looney's in the bank for Dale Ellis. Pinkney with the board. Nope. Gets his own rebound. Oh, that hurts. No! Wow. Dale Ellis just all over the court. Who exactly got the assist on that play? Did Dale Ellis get the point and the assist? The way this game counts assists continues to flummox me. I kind of stopped paying attention to them. You know what I do pay attention to is three point shots. From number three, Dale Ellis. Should have a 25 point lead. I'm, well, I'm not too far off from that. Remember, we did very poorly in the first half. Woo! We might win by 25. Both of Indiana's number three is doing very well against us. Ugh. A rebounding has, well, rebounded nicely. Probably should not have left Reggie Miller wide open for a corner three earlier. Oof. Uh, left few possessions just stretched out when you started typing. It was only a 14-point lead. Been dominating. Yeah, but only in the second half. Remember, we were only up six at halftime. Only up two after the first quarter. There we go. Pinkney. Nice look. Well, I guess now we're only up 14 again. Yeah, I honestly don't even actually feel like we're out of the woods yet. Like, 15 points in three minutes would be a lot. Like, we're almost out of the woods, but I don't know. I've uh, I've seen worse. I'm uh, thinking of the, uh, the Suns game where we were up comfortably, and then they just kept chipping away, chipping away. We only won by two, and they had an opportunity to put it into overtime and uh, blew it. That wasn't where I was intending the pass to go. Right, exactly. Up 11. It's all right. There we go. At least made triple digits. We haven't had a game where we uh, scored under 100 in a while. Um, might have been that Suns game, actually. Last time I believe the final for that was uh, 90 to 88. Ugly shot. <laughs> what makes Dale Ellis such an incredible rebounder? It must be his positioning on the court. 
That rebound was just force of will. <laughs> Even the AI sucks at the ISO view. <laughs> it's true. Oh. Couldn't get it back in time. All right, 12 with a minute 30. I, th I think we're I think we're good. Real life Reggie Miller would make that a threat, but I think digital 1995 Reggie Miller too much even for him to overcome. There it is. Take me. Take that in, Ed. Take that in, Ed. We're just. Dribble by the perimeter and let Dale Davis steal it from you. Hit him! No easy buckets. Yeah, I know. I should have called for the pass. Think me no good. Oh, that was not where I wanted that pass to go. I've been having that problem a lot tonight. I hope it's me and not the stick. Oof. Getting nasty. There you go, Pinkney. Put that in. Nope. Not going to do it, huh? That's all right. We uh, are officially in garbage time as... We improve our record to 22 and 1 with this here victory over these Indiana Pacers. Oof. Not shooting like that. Shooting like that. They felt the need to triple team me from full court. And man, the home crowd celebrating every win, including this one. 112 to 97 over the Pacers. Player of the game, no surprise. Dale Ellis, ho hum, 69 points, seven steals. Ended with five boards, which is as many as the whole team had in the first half. So I'll take that. Four assists, including that one that was apparently to himself. I don't know. Been a while since we shot below 50% too, and that three-point percentage is brutal. Just brutal. But did we not block a shot in the second half? That doesn't seem right. Maybe just in the, well, I don't know. That's weird. I don't like that number. Yeah, I don't think that's right. That actually makes me call a lot of these stats into question. Other than the score. Even then. Sometimes they don't show it. Maybe they don't count it. Anyway. Murray, the only other one with double digits, although Lionel Simmons got eight. Think you're shooting pretty well. Nobody's shooting well from three, especially not Tony Massenberg. Suppose that's to be expected. Four offensive rebounds for Lionel Simmons. I think they were all on that one play. Our point guards continue the proud of blocking tradition. Points for Pinckney. Uh, let's see. He had four. That big dunk when he first came in and another basket at some point. Where are we listening to blocks? We've got steals. Dale Ellis, seven steals, leading the team. Yeah. But Murdoch's steals were big. Five steals, six assists for him. Not that the, that number is meaningful. Not that maybe any of these numbers are meaningful. I don't know. I'm uh, rethinking my approach to things now with that uh, that block glitch. Uh, Reggie Miller at 23. Mark Jackson, double digits. Haywood Workman, 10. Dale Davis a lot quieter than last time. Stats are mostly good. Well, you know, I, I have to, right? At some point, you just got to kind of take it on faith.
They'll be reviewing the tape at some point. Did Miller finish with 100% from three? He did. Of course, we've left him open a lot of the time. I can get away with that against the other teams because they don't try as many. Yeah, and Indiana's forwards just giving us fits on steals. There you have it for the stats. Quick look at the shot summary. Two for six for Carlos Rogers, including that hook shot from behind the backboard. It's not a very Carlos Rogers thing to do. Simmons, AC Earl didn't shoot. Ellis, only 45%. Ruffin didn't shoot, that's surprising. Doc Murray, uh, really good from the paint, really not good from outside. Back to Ellis. What are you looking at? Need to call out the air ball layup. Yeah, so that is the one by the block um, on the right side of the screen. And then the one that was directly under the basket is the one where he shot it into the rim from underneath. Uh, a nostalgia goggle special. Uh, Massenberg, 0 for 1. Sorry, Tony. Not your game. 2 for 3 from Pinckney. Jimmy King didn't shoot. Stoudemire didn't shoot. Stoudemire didn't play a lot. And I shot worse than the AI, which makes sense, because all that uh, cold and lonely gray from outside the arc is from me. So back to back, head to the garden, pick on Boston. Quick look at the standings. We're still on top of the central. Boston, getting closer to 500. Miami's recovering a little bit. Haven't checked the league leaderboard in a little while. Dale Ellis now averaging over 40 points per game. Phenomenal. Tracy Murray still ahead of Shaq. Bolstered by his early season dominance. Field goal percentage and Pickney no longer on top of the league, but... Uh, falling to number three behind two of his teammates. So I can't complain too much about that. It's a phenomenal number for Dale Ellis considering how many more shots he's taken than everybody else on this list. Free throw percentage. Ed Pinkney is still number one. Don't have the lead uh, you thought I would in which. Sorry, I didn't see where we were when you typed that. Uh, Dale Ellis and Tracy Murray still leading the league in three-point percentage. Trevor Ruffin uh, getting into the top five. Record, you only have a five-game lead. Well, I mean, keep in mind that this season in real life, the actual Bulls went 72-10. and 10. So the virtual Bulls are doing uh, worse than the actual Bulls with six losses already. Strong season. A lot of teams. Block shots. Let's see. Stoudemire still hanging on to the leaderboard, despite being quiet the last few games. Dale Ellis moving up the leaderboard for steals. Jimmy King. Stoudemire roughing and Carlos Rogers, of course. Still way behind Scotty. You can only do so much. I didn't really look at the Western Conference, so. Uh, uh, the East, we are on top of the East. Yeah, the Knicks are actually only two games back on us. So, And we have not played them yet, nor have we played the Orlando Magic. Uh, we've got them coming up on Wednesday this week. We have beaten Chicago, Indiana, the rest of who you see here. And then the West, we have played all of those teams. So, which makes sense, yeah, 23 games only. Two repeats means there's you know only uh, seven teams we haven't played. That'll well, about do it for us. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope to see you again uh, tomorrow night as we take on the Celtics. Uh, we beat them by 70 last week, and uh, we'll see if we can do better. I guess. Uh, so have a great night. See you then.